what's been your biggest challenge, but also what have been your greatest blessings uh, as you've gone through your life as a brother. The biggest challenge is sometimes uh, the biggest blessing too. I think so. For me, for me, it's it's all it's interior, right? So uh, growing in your relationship with God and the community creates beautiful opportunities for us to to grow in our spiritual lives. Prayer three times a day, mass every day, receiving the Eucharist every day. Uh, but how how important it is to dedicate yourself to prayer, and that that is what we witness to. That is what our first and primary vocation is to to be a son of Mary, to be a brother of Jesus Christ, and that only starts through prayer. So I think the greatest blessing is our life of prayer, and the biggest challenge is uh, sitting down, finding your your way to communicate with God. I think that's it's it's a beautiful challenge, and it's a beautiful blessing. And if I might say, it's not just a young brother thing, it's probably something as a middle-aged brother perhaps, uh, it still goes on and you know the, cha I know the challenge of the older brothers, that that focus of keeping centered on Jesus and prayer and that life, and especially in our vocation to schools, and it, it can get very crazy and hectic, your, your prayer life and your spiritual life could really get neglected, all for a greater good. For me being the newest one in the circle, getting used to the, you know, the routines, the schedules and the practicalities of living with 20 other men, um, you know, that's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, you have a lot of different personalities. I'd say 21 different personalities. Yes. <laughs> and to kind of, you know, get over the practicals of dealing with the schedule, you know, how do you find a, a common time for 21 people? And, and how do you find a common uh, meal that everyone will enjoy? Um, you know, and the things like that can be... And not get into an argument. And not get into an <laughs> argument, uh, you know. And the things like that can be a little bit difficult at first, but in my own time, I've come to see that really those things are the true gifts, you know, if you really embrace them. So a schedule, like Brother Pat was saying, that centers your, your life, your day on prayer, to have prayer in the morning, in the evening, at night, um, to kind of bookend your day is something that's truly special. Um, you know, while it may be tough to, to wake up for prayer some days, <laughs> and it may be tough to stay awake for prayer some days later in the, the evening and night, that time in prayer to center your life on that is truly special. And, and to have 21 different personalities, sure, you might butt heads with someone at some point, but to have the different experiences like Brother Nigel was talking about earlier, to have different people to really impact your life and support you, I think it really is a, a true blessing and a gift. Uh, to me, the greatest blessing is walking into the chapel <laughs> and seeing those 21 people there. Yeah. You know, and everyone is doing what they want, not what they want, but what they think the Lord wants, you know, to, to be praying that particular thing, that we're all in unison, that some are either meditating, some are reading a book, some are reading a spiritual book, some are just quietly in deep, deep prayer. Uh, that has always been this, our glorious time. You know?